it's Mike coming to you from the VRV family of companies. You know, one of the pure joys of my job is getting to review RVs that I've either purchased before ever being involved in the RV industry or ones that are on my very short list to buy in the future. And that would be this. This is the Leisure Travel Vans 2023-24 MB. Fantastic floor pan, love it. Can't wait to show it to you. A few favorite things on the 24 MB, starting with this. How about this huge storage compartment right on the patio side that even I fit in? Here's another one you'll really appreciate. Storage compartments that actually travel out with the slide makes for much more easy access. And finally, even though we're in a 25-foot package, we have a very spacious bathroom. This is as big as the bathroom on my 37-foot Class A motorhome. The Leisure Unity 24MB is the flagship model of the Leisure floor plan options with design elements that rival what you might see in a high-end diesel pusher. It's a great big bath, a big bed, a big TV, and a beautiful galley, all in a 25-foot package. It's a small motorhome that lives large. This unit sits on a Mercedes-Benz 3500 chassis powered by a 3-liter V6 engine. It features Glacier full body paint, Dove leather, and Rift Oak cabinets. Could this be the perfect travel van on the planet? Might be. This is the 2023 24MB. We're going to go ahead and get started with this tour, but before I do, I want to show you what this looks like going down the road with the slide in. We have our Leisure Lounge Plus option here, and look at this. I still have all kinds of room to get around both of these lounge chairs. And here's a bonus. We can also deploy the bed fully with the slide in and still have a little bit of room to get around, and I don't have to push the slide out to do that. I'm going to go ahead and push the slide out now and we'll continue with our tour. The 24MB, that's Murphy bed model. This might be the perfect floor plan. That's up to you to decide. There's different floor plans to choose from, but this is so flexible and so roomy for a 25 foot package. I have a huge TV, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit, 40 inch smart TV. We have a Leisure Lounge Plus option here. Whether you opt for the regular Leisure Lounge or the Leisure Lounge Plus, they're both great nice spacious galley and an enormous bathroom. Again, I don't know of another brand that makes better use of space than leisure travel vans. And they're very deliberate in the way they put these things together. I've owned a bunch of motorhomes myself, my wife and I, different sizes, shapes of motorhomes. I very, very much appreciate the way leisure travel vans are put together. And I'll point out some of those things as we go through this tour. So let's just start with the fun part right here in the middle. So we have our Leisure Lounge Plus option here. These can be configured in a multiple uh, variety of ways. And it's really ingenious the way they've designed these. Look at these armrests. They come up when you want them, away when you don't. I play the guitar, armrests get in the way. I should have brought my guitar. So if I'm sitting here playing the guitar, I can get rid of that armrest right here and have plenty of elbow room. When I'm watching the TV, then I want armrests and I have them pop away so easy. Now these are powered, so right here I can recline this. How comfortable is this? Now, here's a neat thing. I can watch the TV when it's in the down position or the up position. Just a moment, I'm gonna show you how that works. But very, very comfortable. It's a leisure travel van, and this is all about leisure right here. I love it. So when it comes time to deploy the bed, all we need to do is rotate these chairs around. I've already done this one. You'll release it right here and just turn it around like so. And then we're gonna remove two cushions, this cushion and this cushion. Get these out of the way, and now we're able to deploy the bed. But before I do that, check this out. You can release this, and look what we have. A dining room table. I can play cards, dining room table. Very, very handy, and how easy was that to do? Super easy. Pop that back out of the way, lock this up here for travel, Really, really easy. Now, to deploy the bed, you're going to release this tab right here. And this one over here. Drop this down and it will lock into place. 
drop this little part of the mattress and look how much room I have to get around this nearly king size mattress that's 68 inches wide. How about this? I'm exactly six feet tall, plenty of room, very spacious, and you can get around it. It's a full walk around nearly king size bed in a 25 foot motorhome. And remember, even with the slide in, I can still deploy this bed. That's really neat. So if you're at a Walmart parking lot, you want to stop, catch a few winks and route to your final destination, you can still do that and not have to worry about pushing the slide out uh, in order to do that. Really easy. To go back, reverse order, what we need to do is release it by pushing in like so. This goes up and we lock in this place. Before I do that, check out the window up there. Nice daylight. So when that de bed's deployed, very nice daylight. Okay, I almost forgot a very cool feature. Follow me. So let's say you're sitting here watching TV. Maybe you're working on your laptop. How about this? A backrest. How nice is this? Both sides do it at any angle you want. It's so comfortable so I can watch TV, I can work on my laptop and not have to cram pillows back there to be comfortable. <laughs> really love that. Okay, right here in the entry door, the more I RV, the more little things matter to me, like having a coat closet, and we have one right inside the door, right where it should be. So I step in here, I got a place to hang my hat, some jackets or whatever, the dog leashes or whatever can go up here, and another storage compartment here as well. Again, this is gonna get lots of use because it's right here by the door where it should be. What's this? This is a table base. We pop in right here, and we can put a table. So, when you're stopping on that quick little stopover at Walmart parking lots or whatever, I have a table to put in here. I can eat between these two chairs which rotate around. Plus it just expands your living area in the coach in general. Now, right up here is our multiplex system. This is gonna be diagnostics, controlling lighting, really all the systems right here on this multiplex. And you can operate this from your phone as well. So here's your lighting control. If you just hold your finger on it, the lights are going to dim. It's probably messing with our camera right now. Sorry about that. Turn it all the way off, turn it back on, and it comes back to the location, the setting that it was before. So anyway, you can dim these in an infinite number of settings. Go here to this next button. We've got our generator, all of our voltage, electrical things. The little temperature is, of course, climate controlled. We do have a heat pump up on top. So you have that ability to use electric heat when you're at a campground and uh, your furnace and cooling, of course, and your fan speeds here as well. A little gear right here are additional settings and diagnostics, your floor plan, all that information. So it's a multiplex system. You're also going to have regular switches here at the door, up there on the side, in the back. You're never farther than a short arm's length away from switches to control all the functions on this coach. So step out of the way here. Nice backlit, LED backlit, courtesy handle right here by the door. So handy to have that. Right here's our 12 volt disconnect switch. So if you're gonna be away from the coach for a while, turn that off so you're not having any uh, leaching power, We're draining down the batteries here. And then again, here's a bay of light switches here as well as, how about this? If you have a little dog, you don't want to be falling down into the step well, drop that down. How perfect is that? And that's particularly important when the slide's in and you don't have as much room around here. So if you have a pet, they're not falling down into the step well. This little handle right here is your TV televator, you might say. It's manual. Release it and voila, I have a 40 inch smart TV. Again, perfect viewing angle over here. And here's a neat thing. I can watch it when it's in the down position, when it's basically a console position or in the up position like this. When you want it to go away and certainly for travel, just push in the middle. It's easy to push down. 
until it catches. Now I have more space up here, so you might want to leave it like that a lot of the time, especially if you want to use this space up here for something else, right? Have a little extra storage up here as well. This is our wireless LAN built in, and we have an optical drive. Thank you. Yay, I'm old enough to appreciate this. I think these are going away very soon, maybe like 2024, but we still have an optical drive DVD player. Right here is for your fuses, so your direct current fuses, and then your AC alternating current breakers, and they're all labeled under here. So best to familiarize yourself with uh, what the fuses and breakers go to in the case that you need to do a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, bet you won't though, these things are put together so well you probably won't have any problems. Check out these storage compartments up on top here. Very nice, very spacious, and boom, a sound bar. So not only do we have a smart TV here, I also have a smart, uh, well, smart sound bar, it might be a smart sound bar, a sound bar up on top. So you can get those big bass sounds on movie night, really makes that nice theatrical sound inside here. I'm a musician, so I always appreciate good sound, and I love it that we have a sound bar up there. Here's something to notice. Look, these are all soft clothes. So if you're the early riser in the family, you need to get something out of a cabinet. That door's not gonna slam shut unless you make it slam shut. So I really like that. This is of course a grenade launcher for security purposes. Uh, Leisure always puts grenade launchers in all their LTVs. Now this is a, called a thermistor. It's sampling the air, sending that information back so that the unit can stay to the temperature that you want it to. I'm looking up because look at these fantastic lights these LED diffused lights. So there's really no dark corners in here. There's diffused LED light everywhere you look. You've got LED lights up here, up here. I've got this nice curvy LED light system on the top. There's just not a dark corner in this. The first RV, the first motorhome we bought was just awful. It had like the old fashioned lights and there was like six of them through the middle dark corners everywhere. Forget about that now. In addition to our really light interior here, man, it's very nice and open and airy. Speaking of open and airy, look at here. We have a skylight. I can open this up entirely, and if I want to let some fresh air in, pop that open. How nice is that? Now, if we got bugs, and if you're out in the wild, you probably do, I can pull that over so I have a screen. If you want to close it off completely, do that. Just make sure you before you do that, it is closed in fact, but it's kind of warm here in Texas, so I'm going to block it off completely, but really nice to do that. Open it up, let some fresh air come in, and uh, enjoy the great outdoors by opening up some of these awning style windows. Speaking of, let's take a look at them. We have day and night shades around this whole coach, along with little keepers on either side. So there, just give it a tug going to open up. So I have MC, these are MCD brand, which by any measure is the best brand for roller shades. They're the most durable, very, very nice. They're in high-end coaches. They're going to go with MCD shades. So if you want just enough shade during the day to let natural light in, there you go. And it also adds a little bit more privacy. The first coach we bought that had day shades, I thought, eh, big deal. It's just another shade. But it's great because it helps keep it cool, lets some natural light in. Plus, I can see out there. Maybe I have a view of the lake or the river or the mountains, but I want to help keep it a little cool in here. I can do that. Nighttime, you want to block all the light out, complete privacy. I'm going to take this. Make sure you put it behind that little keeper on either side. And now we have complete privacy. These walls are curved a little bit, so I appreciate these being here. It keeps the shade up tight to the window, so you have complete privacy and complete blackout. Very, very nice. Okay, now, what am I forgetting? Probably lots, that's where you come in. If you own one of these, seen one of these, there's so many features to talk about. I'm afraid this is gonna be an hours long video, but I wanna be thorough about it because if you're shopping a leisure travel van, and you must be, you've watched this long, first of all, thank you. But second of all, you wanna know about the details. You wanna know how this works. And you may have discovered some tips that I'm skipping over feel free to drop them in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you would click like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. That way you'll be the first to know 
when we post more videos a lot like this one. And I always appreciate hearing from you. I do my best to respond to comments as we get them on our YouTube channel. So let's move back into the galley area here. So again, you're tired of me saying this probably, but everything in this is incredibly spacious for a 25 foot motorhome. I've had motorhomes from 22 and a half feet to nearly 40 feet long. And I don't know of another motorhome I've personally ever owned that had a more smart design, you might say, than what this has. So, hey, it's not an enormous galley, but it's pretty nice. I've got two burner cooktop right here. Nice, big stainless steel sink here with a high-rise faucet. This is Corian, so it's a Corian solid surface countertop both here and in the bathroom. It's not laminate, it's Corian. Open up this to reveal nice storage underneath here as well. All European hinges that are adjustable. And speaking of soft clothes, how about this? Soft clothes drawers. I just love soft clothes drawers, especially when you're in an RV. You're with your significant other. You don't want to hear that slamming door all, doors and drawers all the time. So very nice to have that. And then this is neat. I have a trash can right here or you could fill it with ice put beverages in there but it's nice uh, the more rvs i've owned in my life there's a couple things i always wonder is where's that where's the coat closet and where's the trash can go and at least we have a little one right there um, could put a small one under there possibly as well but it's really nice to have that there have a little rack here for rags towels paper towels and so on spice rack here as well I like this sort of matte finish and a nice backsplash across here. Again, nice lighting all the way around. Nice storage up here. And this one has a shelf in it. So if you have some spices or something shorter up there, it's nice to have that. Boom, around here. This is a feature I really appreciate. We have a three-way refrigerator. This will run off 110. It runs off 12 volt. It runs off propane. So whatever your scenario is, this refrigerator is going to keep running. All right, well, let's say you're here on the so you're here in the lounge area and you want to get over here and grab something to drink. You can do that. It opens. I can access my freezer from up here as well. What if you're over here? I can open the door this way too. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I just love that freezer same way. So Maybe I'm over here helping do some prep with my spouse. I can open the refrigerator door from this way and not have to do the do -si do to get over here. I really like that. 6.7 cubic foot, I believe is what it is. We have a convection microwave up top here too. It's not huge, but it's big enough for leftovers and it is a convection uh, 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 microwave so you can use it to bake items as well. Speaking of prep area, I can pop this up for extra prep space. This is Corian solid surface and it pops away easily when you don't need it. Very, very much appreciate having that. Storage, yay, how about this? Whoa, canned goods, spices, cereal, you name it. Really nice, durable, slide out pantry. Whew, man, I really, really like this, all right. Have I mentioned that I want one of these? I do, I very much want one of these. Coming back into the bathroom area, again, many times you will sacrifice bathroom space in a B-Van. Uh, Leisure's done a very, very nice job of designing a bathroom that's very spacious and doesn't sacrifice. So I have a porcelain foot flush toilet over here. There is a little uh, faucet here for cleaning. You can use that however you wish, but I recommend using it for cleaning. And then inside here, we have a nice wardrobe. So opening this up, this shelf here does remove if you want to remove this shelf. Have a rod up there to hang your clothes, smaller items, maybe shoes go down here. And actually the table that I showed off earlier that goes up between the driver and passenger seat stows right up there on the side as well. Two drawers underneath here. Again, soft clothes. Love it. 
have a medicine cabinet and a very nice medicine cabinet here. That's another thing that sometimes they'll skimp on. Not leisure, but other brands will skimp on simple things like medicine cabinets. So I have a nice medicine cabinet area up here. How about that? Everything you need. Very classy. Again, Corian, solid surface countertops, and underneath here, a little bit more storage. Now it says this is not a storage compartment, but I bet you a hundred bucks you're gonna put something under there. I would. They put that in there because they don't want you putting stuff that's rattling around and bumping into plumbing fittings and stuff like that. So, fair enough. This is your water pump, obviously. I like it when water pumps are easily accessible, so if you ever need to get to it, for some maintenance reasons, it's right there and it's very, very easy to replace in the event that you ever had to do that. So it's right there. Our whole house water filter rests right here. Also very easy to get to. Spin that off and change the filter. Makes it real easy. We have GFI protected outlet right here. Now we do have a 2000 uh, watt pure sine wave inverter on this coach as well. Up here, I've got a nice big storage compartment that goes all the way to the outside wall as well. Now, shower time. Open up this. This is a little keeper to keep the shower door uh, closed going down the road. I'm a big believer in checklists, and this should be on your checklist before you put the the, uh, the the chassis and drive. Make sure that is latched because you don't want this going down the road banging open and closed and it may end up breaking so look how nice that is led backlit all the way on either side of that very classy nice skylight and look at this i've got a drying rod for wet swim trunks or whatever pop that up out of the way i'm six feet tall this is a very spacious shower so i can be six what six eight probably and still stand up straight up in here and have a shower. Very, very nice glass shower enclosure and it is textured and a little bit opaque for a little bit of privacy. That is very classy. I like that a lot. Speaking of height, we're six feet five inches through this coach so the AC unit is resting up on top. It's not taking up any height inside so again I'm exactly six feet tall the official height in here is six feet five inches, so there's plenty of plenty of headroom throughout this coach. And remember, since we have that 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter, we have inverted power right here behind the galley. Now this unit has 400 watts of solar up on top, and it has the lithium upgrade. The lithium upgrade means that this microwave is inverted too. So you can pull over at a rest area, Walmart, whatever, and use this microwave without the generator or without any other source of external power. Very handy. I do believe that Leisure is going to all lithium in the future, but for now that's an option and this one has it. So we got our solar up on top. Let's talk about some of the controls which are right over the entry door here. Open up this cabinet. We have leveling on this, so the Unities have, we've got this leveling system, uh, makes it very handy when you get to the campground, hit auto level, moving over here is our solar charge controller, we're full, it's a sunny day, it's doing its job, it's nice to have this so that, uh, you know, I think of solar charge controllers as basically a trickle charger for your battery system, and we've got 400 watts up on top. This is our Truma AquaGo, so this is, uh, uh, you, instant hot water on demand very very nice to have that so you've got you can take those long showers and not worry about running out of hot water and Truma is the best brand for that this is our Xantrex 2000 watt inverter control obviously our slide control button here and our battery heat so our lithium batteries are happiest when they're warm and we can turn that switch on right there to do that we do have a 3200 watt cummins own end generator and right here's our controls for that generator so right up there handy to have that where you need it now before i step outside and continue our tour i'll just point out on the front we do have a little storage compartment overhead right here and this has the optional safe so very nice this is a hotel style safe you can keep cash personal protection what have you in there 
very nice to have that up here um, and tucked away out of the way. Another little storage cubby over here. Man, this is so fun. I hope you're having as much fun as I am, but there's more fun stuff to show on the outside. So let's hop out there and continue our tour outside. All right, let's have a look on the outside of this Unity 24. Let's start by unfurling our beautiful awning. It's a carefree awning. I'm gonna go ahead and push this out. Now our awning is deployed. You can control your wind sensor in the on or off position. Best advice is to keep it on. You can override it and turn it off if you'd like to. So on the outside of this unit, what I call the fun side, this is where all the activity happens. This is the campfire, the picnic table, the grilling, the visiting, everything fun happens on this side. And there's some neat things that happen on the fun side here. I really love how Leisure does these storage compartments. This is the one that's gonna get the most activity because it's right here by the entry door and it has these nice, sturdy gas struts. So this thing's not gonna bonk me on the head while I'm trying to fish things out of here. Right next to it is the inverter. So familiarize yourself with where that inverter is. It's right here. This is, as the sticker says, not a storage compartment for the same reason that the storage, com it's not a storage compartment inside. They don't want you cramming stuff in there, messing with these wire connections and so on. Now this is neat too. Soft clothes, just like the cabinets inside, these are soft clothes. And when you give this a turn, it pulls in and makes a tight fit. I want to point out something. This is an EPDM hinge along here. It's not a metal like piano hinge like you'll see on other brands, which will corrode, rust, deteriorate over time. This is an EPDM hinge. Now, this makes contact with the soft, supple rubber seal around here. So it's a good advice to wipe this down occasionally because if this gets grit on it over time, this won't make a complete weather tight seal. So occasionally just wipe that down, put some treatment on there to make sure it stays soft and supple. That way it'll make contact to this door, which is contoured and keep everything in there dry. And again, give that thing a turn and you're nice and tight weather tight in there. I do have power right here. It's GF, uh, GFI protected power. So if I want to have a griddle, lights, whatever, I have it right here. There's two cleats here for an outdoor table, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So I can have a table out outside here as well. Now, you notice our outdoor, our exterior paint scheme is called Glacier. You have different options with Leisure on your outdoor paint scheme. This one happens to be Glacier. Your other options are going to be silver, graphite, shadow, white suede, champagne, Eurosport, and also Atlantic Blue. Moving toward the back of the coach, you can easily access your generator right here. So it's a 3200 diesel generator. So this is drawing on from your main diesel uh, tank on the coach here as well. Again, give that a turn. And right behind that is another nice little storage compartment. Again, I'm gonna use these all the time because these are on the fun side of the unit. I do have a propane quick connect right there as well. So if you do wanna have a griddle or a grill over here, it is a propane quick connect. This also has these nice gas struts. Holy mackerel, look at this. What's behind door number three? How about this storage? Yes, it is big enough for me to get in there. I can almost stand up in there. Uh, again, right here on the side of the unit that matters the most, we're gonna use this all the time. If you've got one of those foldable bikes, two of them will fit in there. I should have brought ours from home, but I can put two foldable bicycles in here. I can put bag chairs, one of those easy up canopies will fit up in here all kinds of stuff. There's already some shelves in here. You can hang hoses right here. Very nice to have that. And look, it's also climate controlled. So you've got a vent in here. So if you've got stuff in here that you don't want to freeze when the furnace cycles on, it's going to receive some heat back in here. Now this is the table that I alluded to earlier. 
and it's got a place. It, Leisure does a nice job by giving you a storage place for everything that they give you. So uh, a lot of times manufacturers will say, well, here's a griddle or a grill or a table. Good luck storing it. Right here's a storage spot right inside the closet where this goes. This will fit right on those cleats over there. All right, so now we have this table. It's easy to clean. I love it because it's easy to wipe off. It's this nice enamel surface. I do, again, have my power over here. So I can put a cooktop, a coffee maker, a margarator perhaps, whatever you like up here. And then when you're done, again, I've got a nice place to store that table inside there. Plus it's real lightweight too. Strong, but lightweight. Now I want to talk for a second about construction. So this is on a 3500 cutaway chassis. So technically, this is a class C. Leisure Travel Vans calls it a B plus. The industry generally refers to this as a B plus because it does not have a cab over bunk area. See that Jayco sitting over there? That is a class C all day long and the industry calls it a class C. But this Mercedes chassis comes in, this part right here, Leisure builds everything else back here. Now a true class B will come from Mercedes or perhaps Ford Transit and the manufacturer is going to build everything inside that van, including the walls, they're not going to cut anything away. That's a class B. B pluses are kind of in a gray area. By federal standards, this is a class C, but in the industry we like to refer to this as a B plus because we've got the cutaway chassis. Notice we flare this out a little bit. You get a little more elbow room and we're building everything from the front back with no cap over bunk area. Are you confused yet? Maybe, but we're calling this a B plus by leisure standards. So how do they build it? Everything back here is built by leisure. It's two inch boxed aluminum vacuum bonded walls, floor and ceiling, roof structure. It's all vacuum bonded. Think of it as a giant food saver for an RV wall. So it really, really does a nice job both in terms of insulating and build quality. It's got um, foam insulation embedded in that wall that is vacuum bonded. So it really makes for a quiet road, uh, quiet drive going down the road as well. Speaking of which, there is foam sprayed up on the underside of the coach to help insulate and quiet the ride. Uh, you can just look up under there and you'll see what looks like foam everywhere. They spray the whole undercarriage of this, which really dampens any sound, road noise, expansion joints, rocks getting kicked up as you're going down the road. So very nice to have that. And you might notice also when you look down the side that this wall is curved. It's not flat. It doesn't look boxy. It looks very stylish. And they can do that with that vacuum bonding technique. So easing around to the back side of this, we have a one-piece molded rear cap. So very stylish. So you have your integrated LED lights along here, your integrated backup camera up on top as well. I say one piece, it's actually two pieces, and I'm glad they do this because this piece right here can easily be replaced in the highly unlikely event that you back it into a fuel pump or something like that. If there is a little bit of damage, and if there ever is, this would be the most often uh, place that this might happen. You can replace this easily without having to replace or do a major repair to the fiberglass of the whole back of the coach. Now we have a hitch down here. It's a 5,000 pound hitch, but by the time you take weight considerations into mind and, and how much you've loaded this thing up, assuming you've loaded this thing up to the gills, you've got about 4,200 pounds of towing capacity. So that means you could tow a Pontiac Vibe, a Jeep Wrangler, you could, uh, you know, a Ford Escape, that kind of a car easily. You could pull behind this and have a little dinghy vehicle or a toad, as we like to say in the RV industry right there. You do have your seven-way plug right there for your lights and brakes and so on back there as well. It's your uh, exhaust for your generator right here. And then easing around to this side, open up this compartment on the utility side of the coach. Here's where the connections are going to happen. Now this has a macerator system on it right here. Here's your macerator hose. And uh, one thing I like that Leisure does is they put the macerator motor right here on the back. 
So if you ever have an issue with that motor, it's very accessible, easy to get to, easy to service in the event that you need to access that. You probably won't, they're very, very reliable, but it's nice that that's there uh, when you need it. So this is where all the connections are gonna happen. There is a little port right here that you can open up to route your freshwater hose up through there and into here. There's already a 90 degree here, so you're not kinking your hose. So you're gonna run your hose up through there. I have a, an outdoor shower essentially right here, hot and cold. Now somebody asked me in a previous video, is there any place to hang this? And there's not, I, well, I don't know. I guess you could hang it there. But it's just, it's a spray uh, hose, so wash off your feet, your kids, your spouse, your dog, whatever. It's nice to have that easy, quick connect right there. Now, when you're gonna winterize it, here's you're gonna, you're gonna deal with this switch here, otherwise forget about that switch right there. Normal and city water setting and tank water fill is right here, depending on what your circumstances are. Now, I like that Leisure does this. They've already got this hose plumbed and attached in there for winterizing or filling your fresh water tank. Um, with water, if you need to drop this into a jug of fresh, clean water and turn that on, it will pull that water into your fresh tank. Um, if I were to make a suggestion, I would probably put some kind of cap on here to keep any debris, bugs, anything, since the water fluid, even if you're winterizing, is going to go from a jug into your fresh water tank. I'm not really crazy about this just being hanging around down here without any cover on it. So I would probably craft a little PVC cover or something to go on that. Minor detail, I very much more appreciate the fact that they gave this to me in the first place. So it really makes it easy to pull antifreeze or fresh water into that tank if you need to do it. Um, besides hooking up your water right there and have pressurized water to fill your tank. So over here, you have your water pump switch and I like having it out here. I don't have to go inside to turn the water pump switch on. Your propane shutoff switch, so when it comes time to fill your propane, which is right here, you'll make sure that's in the off uh, position. Your macerator switch right here. And of course, you never want to let your uh, macerator run dry. You only have that on while you're using it. And then your cable connections right here. So if you have cable at your campground or resort, and many of them do now, hook it up there. Now you'll have cable inside and you can tune your channels inside. And then you got your regular gate valve uh, paddles right here for your gray tank and your black tank right there. So you're going to open those up hit that macerator and pump all the liquids out. Let's talk about tank capacity. So on your freshwater tank, you'll have 25 gallons of capacity. You have 35 gallons of gray water and 30 of black. So plenty of capacities, again, for a small coach like this, plenty of capacity, whether it's fresh gray or black, allows you to stay off grid longer than you normally uh, would be able to with lower capacities. This is a freshwater tank drain extension, so you can reach up underneath and open that up. The only time you're gonna do that is you're gonna dump the fresh water to winterize it for an extended period. Maybe after you sanitize it, you wanna drain all the water out. You're gonna use it for that. So again, nice compartment here. Again, we've got our gaskets around here to keep it weather tight and everything. Very nice and convenient and easy to figure out. We have our Truma AquaGo system on this on-demand water heater. Best brand in the business by far. It's got a one liter mixing reservoir in the back. You have instant hot water on demand, and you can take those long showers if you want to. All right here's a shot of our frameless windows. These are tilt out, so even if it does come up a shower at your campground, these can be in the open position to let fresh air come in, but it won't rain on the inside. This is our 30 amp detachable power cord plug it in and give it just a little bit of turn to the right and it locks in place so kids are running by they're not going to accidentally unplug your shore power. Now I have two storage compartments right here on this side. Very accessible and again they travel out with the slide so I'm not having to get back up under there and knock my head on something to get to the storage compartment. They travel out with the slide and Leisure always gives you 
still gives you a traditional sewer hose right here in this sewer hose sewer compartment so you've got one you if you need it you've got it and it's right here and i'm glad that there's a place to store it as well again soft clothes all the way around now moving up onto the front side of the coach we have foldable power and heated mirrors really handy so you can control them from the inside. They're heated, folded away if you're in a tight space, whatever the case. Really like that. I have a courtesy light up here and then our nice flares that come out as the body gets wider and the coach goes back. It contours nicely. It looks like a one piece coach like it came from Mercedes that way. Right here's where our fuel location is and this is true with all the Mercedes that you're going to see pretty much but it's a nice security feature too. See I can't get to that fueling location with the door closed. So when this door is locked I can't get there. Open that up and here's our diesel fill. Now you can close the door while you're fueling so the fumes aren't going on the inside. When you're finished open the door, close that up and you're off to the races. I'm gonna hop in the cockpit area and the cab area and show a few features of that before we wrap up our tour. I very much enjoy driving the Mercedes-Benz. This thing handles very nicely. It's very nimble and it has a lot of creature comforts that you might expect coming with a Mercedes-Benz, including some upgrades in 2023 and beyond. I'm going to list some of those upgrades up on the screen. Just be aware that depending on availability, some of those may change over time, but there's some neat features to this, including lane keeping assist, auto dimming headlights, auto adaptive cruise control, um, road sign assist, so many things that make safety and convenience over the top driving this unit. I really appreciate those things as well as things like entertainment. I've got a, a screen right here that has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so I can stream music from my mobile device as I'm going down the road listening to the music that I want to listen to. But it's very comfortable and I don't need to take my hands from the steering wheel to do anything over there to that entertainment system. I've got a little basically mouse right here on the steering wheel that I can flip through the different options on that screen. On the left side, I can do the same thing for options for the chassis right in front of me. So all of the chassis related options in front of me, all the entertainment center uh, options over here on the right. And again, including volume for taking calls, volume of the radio, my hands don't need to leave the steering wheel. Now down here are our seat settings. So there's three different seat settings for different drivers. These are fully adjustable, power heated seats and my goodness are they comfortable there's adjustable uh, supports right here under your legs on either side again we have our power windows over there i can put uh, a beverage here in the door i've got drink uh, cup holders up in front on either side as well open up this middle portion and it will reveal usb ports and usb-c charging as well as a cigarette style 12 volt right there as well. So man, you're covered with charging your gadgetry. Up on top, there's some little cubbies for maps and small items, paper kind of stuff. And then our courtesy map lights right here, easy to access. And then drifting down here, we have our climate control, fan speed and temperature control right here. A lot of times, uh, well, I shouldn't say a lot of times, if you ever have an issue with the automobile not recognizing your key fob, I learned this the hard way on another uh, unit one time, it didn't recognize my key fob, and you'll get a message that says place key fob in marked space, and yet there is no marked space. <laughs> but there is a space and it's right down here. You simply take this and pop it into that location and then it will recognize your key fob and then you can start your coach. It'll save you, uh, you know, thumbing through your owner's manual or doing an SOS call if that battery eventually were to ever uh, go dead on you or had another issue, just a little tip there. Probably won't need it, but if you do, you've got it. Again, these seats easily spin around so that you can have uh, expand your living area in the back. And this unit is particularly easy to get to the back of the coach from the cockpit area. 
in part because we have a flat floor. Check this out, just like the big diesel pushers, we're flat floor from here all the way to the back. You're not stepping up or down into the cockpit, and that's a change that, uh, that Leisure did here fairly recently so that you've got the clean shot level front to back really easy because a lot of times you're making those long trips you're going to pull over for an hour or two at the time and you just want to go from here back there and stretch out make a sandwich or whatever and come back up you may not even leave the coach it's nice to have that nice level flat floor how easy is it to get from here to back there remember these seats rotate and we have a flat floor and just like that i'm in the back of the coach this is the 2023 Unity 24 MB model. I appreciate you joining me. If you have any questions about this model or others that we've got coming in very soon, let me know, we'll be happy to help you. My name is Mike Drudge here at the VRV Family of Companies. As always, I appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next time.